Developing this evening, a woman is dead. Her friend is in the hospital after family members say an abusive relationship reached its peak last night. The victims of that shooting have been identified, and for the first time, we are hearing from the mother of the woman who was killed. My daughter was visiting her friend, and um, he came. He had a restraining order, and he came and was supposed to be here, and he pushed his way inside the house. It is a situation that we've reported on all too often, and local organizations are dedicated to helping people escape those situations before it's too late. KPRC 2's Devin Clark explains tonight from North Harris County. Devin. Lauren, we can report that the suspect in this situation is in custody, and as you mentioned, it is a tragic yet familiar scenario that played out here. But at the Houston Area Women's Center, they are not giving up the fight, laying out ways to escape abuse. 75% of all intimate partner homicides are committed in those first six months of leaving an abusive partner. Lanicia Malvo is in critical condition and her friend Brittany Simmons is dead after officials say Malvo's ex-boyfriend, Kentrell Brumfield, forced himself into her apartment last night and opened fire on the two. Investigators say there was a history of violence. Domestic abuse advocates such as Chow Wen at the Houston Area Women's Center offering ways to escape domestic abuse even before it becomes physical. Of somebody trying to control, coerce them, threaten, humiliate, bully, isolate. There are all kinds of predictors to violence. Something abuse survivor Jamie Wright, who is now on the board at the center, can speak to firsthand. It took uh, for me to feel like my life was in danger for me to call 911. Wright, who says at first she didn't even realize she was being abused, had reached her breaking point. There was a huge possibility that my daughters might bury me. She moved into the shelter, part of a personalized safety plan that she and when say every victim should have when trying to leave. Recognize your partner's trigger points and how to calm them down. Hide some money and an extra set of keys. Change locks and replace wooden doors with steel and metal ones. Install security systems. Tell neighbors, friends, co-workers to call police if your abusive partner shows up. We hate to put the onus on the survivor to plan for her safety, but it is necessary to save her life. As we see in this case, the domestic violence can affect friends and family too, which is why it's so important for all of them to be vigilant. As far as Brumfield is concerned, we understand that he was taken into custody in Mississippi after an exchange of gunfire with officials. We expect him to be extradited here to Harris County. As far as abuse victims are concerned, it's important to take heed to that safety plan, which we will have in full on our website, click2houston.com. For now, reporting live in North Harris County, Devin Clark, KP. PRC 2 News.